The story I'm about to share happened some years ago, and I got divorced in 2011. I met my ex-wife on a social media site called MySpace when I was 19 in 2006. I was in my last year at junior college at that time. I know y'all are going to scold me for this, but she was 9 years older than me. I know, I'm an idiot, get it out. So yeah, she was 28 when I met her. To me she was beautiful. She still is today. She used to model when she was about 18 to 24. She was published. She truly is beautiful on the outside, but inside is hideous though. Well, I came to learn that later. From the beginning, my mom did not like her at all. It was the age thing for her, but she later got over it and just put up with it. She did not have kids when we met, but would always talk about being ready to settle down and have kids. At the time, I was okay with working towards marriage, but I had no interest in having any kids yet until I got a great position in my career. I made that clear, and she was okay with it, but occasionally, she would still bring it up, saying her clock is ticking. For context, her mother had her at 42 and her brother at 44, so I would tell her, you'll be fine, your mom had you late. Anyway, we started dating, and we would have so much fun. She just introduced me to a lot of stuff I wasn't familiar with. Nothing bad, but before her, I'd never been to a club or a bar. I travel all the time, especially to Florida. When I turned 21, we had so much fun together. It was my first time going to a casino. We got drunk, and I won big that night out in Vegas. It was almost like we balanced each other out in a way. She was very outgoing, and I've always been this reserved guy. Anyway, I asked her to marry me in 2010. She was excited and said, finally, when I proposed, I really love this girl and never thought she'd do me the way she did. We married quickly that same year. There actually wasn't a big ceremony at all. Just her and I, my parents and her parents in the small room with a judge. We went to a resort in Arizona for our honeymoon. It was pretty cool. We also went hiking in the mountains and it was fun. Immediately, we started trying for kids, but it didn't happen. She was 32 at this time and she would snap at me about it, saying, it's your fault, we should have been trying years ago. Now I'll never be a mother. Because of this, I even went and got checked and my sperm count was perfectly normal and I was able to have kids. She also got tests done as well. The doctor said it was risky to have children the older you get, but that she was perfectly healthy. She stayed in tremendous shape, worked out every day, not a day skipped, and ate a great diet. No restrictions type diet, but definitely a well-balanced diet. Her being so health conscious did rub off on me. Guess I can thank her for that. But we tried and tried that year and nothing. One time, she was sure she was pregnant, but the at-home test kept saying no. She went to the doctor, telling the doctor I know I'm pregnant. They ran their test, and she indeed was not pregnant. This is when she really changed on me. She started talking to me like I was a bad kid or something. Talking down on me. Telling me things like, I'm not man enough that why don't I have a master's degree like other successful men she knew, and all kinds of disrespectful crap. I went off on her at Target once. I accidentally pushed a cart on the back of her heel, and she yelled at me to watch where the F I was going. I got in her face and sternly told her to stop talking to me like that, and that it was an accident. She ran out of the store crying, and I walked out behind her. We got in the car, and she just started crying saying she was sorry, and that she's so frustrated with everything. I told her I understood that not having kids right now is bothering her, but will be fine. She apologized again, and we drove off. She told me to pull into a car wash. One of those automatic ones because she wanted to wash the car. Once we pulled in, she proceeded to give the greatest BJ she had ever given me. Afterwards, she told me she loved how I put her in her place and wanted me to be that way more often. Though that actually did work, and with my lack of experience. It was something I'd learned while in that relationship. Anyway, the issue continued because she really wanted a baby. 
So in October of 2010, she left her Samsung phone on the couch. Her pin was always 0000. Neither of us ever changed the default passcodes on our phones at the time. I snooped because I started to wonder if she was cheating on me because the way she would talk to me sometimes just wasn't cool. I saw that she had a text thread between this guide, who I later found out was a teller at our bank. He definitely was trying to sleep with her and told her she could do better than me and how he is the man for her. He and her are the same age and got engaged years later after her and I got divorced. She would tell him how it wasn't right to go out with him, but she really wanted to, and how she regrets marrying me. He would send her explicit pics of his package and everything. She would reply how she likes it, etc. I saw enough. When she got back after walking our dog, I had her phone in my hand and I said, So you like Tyrone, huh? She asked that I give her the phone, but I held on to it and asked if she regret marrying me. She said yes, she does, and that I should give her the phone. I gave her the phone and I said I'm out of here, and we're getting a divorce. She laughed her butt off and said, Good, please bring me the papers, I will gladly sign them. I kept it cool and went up and packed my stuff, but I was deeply hurt. While I was packing, I was beating myself up and kept asking myself what was I thinking getting married when I'm only 23. Why would I do something so stupid? Well, I got all my clothes packed up and I left. I went straight to my parents' house and I cried like a little bee in my parents' living room. My mom held me and they told me things would be okay. Even though I'm over her, I still know that pain today and I don't wish that feeling on any man. I actually searched for a therapist on my own because I didn't have any friends. I completely abandoned them after getting with her. It was like she had me under a freaking spell or something because she was all I cared about. She got served divorce papers via mail, and like she said, she gladly signed them. She sent a picture to my phone of her and the bank teller guy holding the signed divorce papers. That tore me up. This was when I actually sought out a therapist. My therapist was a 40-year-old man who I'm still cool with till today. That man picked me up and encouraged me. He's a very stoic man, and he told me to pick my head up, that it's not over and that I got more to accomplish. He told me she'll eventually regret losing me, and that I shouldn't bother trying to stick it to her by trying to get revenge, but I should just move on with my life and I'll win. We eventually divorced finally in 2011. Since then, I went back to school, graduated with my master's in 2015. I passed a PE exam in 2020 and I am now an engineer licensed by the States. The firm I work for is a very successful firm, and we do work all over the US. This firm has won many awards, and I hold a high position there. I make very good money too just from my career, and I also teach evening courses at a local college twice a week. I know for a fact I wouldn't have done any of what I have accomplished if I stayed with her. And I have to thank my therapist, for this who is also my friend today for lighting the fire under me that got me motivated. I could have easily just slumped into a depression and beat myself up while she had moved on to another dude. How I knew about her getting engaged a year after our divorce was because my mom told me. She ran into her one day and my mom told me how she was engaged to get married and was pregnant. A year after that, my mom saw her again at a church my mother was visiting. My ex-wife told her she never got married again because she found out the guy was cheating on her and got another woman pregnant. My mom said she kept asking about me and she was so glad to tell her about all my accomplishments and even showed her the article I was in, representing our firm in the local news, and she kept talking about projects I had worked on. My mom said her eyes lit up and she said how proud of me she was. Today, I am a father of a three-year-old girl. She is indeed my girl. My child's mother and I were never in a relationship and she is a good woman and a mother. We met in the university and she is a marketing manager for a local firm. I don't think I will ever get married. I have no desire to do so. I never changed my phone number. I have had the same number since I was 19 years old. So I got a text asking, is this Matthew? 
I answered. Yes, who is this? The person texting. Hey, it's Michelle. I asked. Michelle who? The person texting. Yes, your ex-wife. Michelle. I said, oh, hey ex-wife. She replied. Is it okay if I call you? I asked. Why? What's up? She responded with, honestly, I just miss you. I have been thinking so much lately and wish I would have fought to stay with you. I am so proud of you and I wish I could have been by your side during all of your accomplishments. Things have been a bit tough for me though and I could really use some help. Anyway, see I am rambling, can I call? I replied, no. I then proceed to block the number immediately. The nerve of her to come crawling back begging for my help. No damn way I would ever help her. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you again. Take care.